Hello Leos! Welcome to your 2021, January 2021, general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here is we will slightly divide the readings in sections so it is easier for you to understand it. Um, and so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Leo and then go into your emotional core. So that could be um, about trauma that still needs to leave, could be about love that needs to be rekindled or love that's coming in. <clears throat> and then uh, the outgoing area or topic will be opportunities as they uh, present themselves to you in uh, January 2022 and opportunities for the most part um, will be about what sustains you financially, if that makes sense, right? So, but let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Leo. Let's see what we got. There we go. Leos. We got the caribou, the fox, and the rabbit. What that means is the caribou is saying to you, you know, when the terrain gets difficult, which means when life gets difficult in January, you will not sink in. You have a very steady um, persona and energy. So not much this month um, can actually unsettle you. It's also interesting to note that on the 2nd of January, we, we are having a new moon. Um, and that means new beginnings, but because the new moon is literally a dark moon and it takes two weeks from the darkest part of the moon, the new moon, um, to the full moon. So light is coming in over time. And so anything that needs to or, or, or you want to change and new beginnings that you want to manifest may not happen from one day to the, to the next. right? And then on the 4th of January... We are having a perihelion, which means that the Earth, our little blue planet here, um, is the closest to the sun. And the sun is what gives you your energy. Um, the sign the sun was in when you were born gives you your star sign. Um, so there is help coming from the universe with regards to, to achieving things and going for things um, a bit faster. Um, but it will, it will not be immediate, if that makes sense. So be patient. If that makes sense, right? So you have the fox in the middle. The fox is all about understanding that um, if you want something in life, you have to create it yourself, right? The fox is also the animal that tells you, you know, you're an old soul. And because you're an old soul, you have been in situations that were difficult and you've always gotten through them. So you will be fine no matter what life throws at you, right? But you also need to remember that one of the attributes uh, of, of, the, of the fox that is well known is sort of, you know, that they're, that they're seen as cunning. And so um, be cunning, you know, as long as you're not lying to people, as long as you're not deceiving anyone, be clever about things, right? Utilize what comes your way this month. Because the outgoing energy here for your overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Leo is the rabbit. And the rabbit is saying to you, look at all these rabbit holes. All of them lead to somewhere. So don't overthink, just realize and remember there's always more than one solution for each problem that could come your way, right? Just open a door that you feel at this point in time you're the most drawn to and don't try to figure out where does it lead? Will it be the right door? doesn't work that way. Go with the flow is the energy and the message for um, Leos in January of 2022. If you like my work, you can now support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, let's move on to the next area, which is literally your emotional core. Um, and that could be, like I said, um, about, um, you know, trauma that needs to go um, <clears throat> or, or whatever is happening here. But we'll, we'll have a look. And it is very interesting for Leos. 
Um, I think what I'm getting here for Leos is really important to, for you to understand that you're the only star sign of all the 12 star signs that is governed by the sun. And so since the earth is closest to the sun on the 4th, your star sign is the star sign that gets the, 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 big, the biggest boost, the highest energy boost of all. And it feels to me that when it comes to your emotions, um, it is super important for you to realize that, it sounds a bit weird and maybe a bit simple, life is what you make it, right? So anything to do with your emotions, you have, okay, we have the cow and the elephant, right? And I will explain this now, but, the, but these little cards here, these little energies are called deities. And then the incoming energy is the plural of all of this called animal deities, which means with regards to your emotions, with regards to your emotional core, with regards to you feeling loved, having a feeling of belonging, all your animal guides are around you. So the universe is supporting you, but your middle animal, which is, which is the most important because it's surrounded by the other two, is the cow. And the cow is literally what we call the Übermother. And um, ultimately what that means is if you learn to look at yourself as being awesome and understand that it is in your nature to be nurturing, while at the same time your sign is represented by a male lion, if that makes sense, who is also the only social cat in the universe, if that makes sense, but he has to walk his perimeter all the time, you need to feel safe. It is also in your energy and in your imprint to feel safe. And because you have the cow, which is sort of about, you know, divinity and purity um, and also about fertility. So you, you create what you want to achieve in life and you create the love you want to attract in life. So my, my feeling here is, um, and the advice here is, for Leos to not misinterpret and to not underestimate the power of meditations and um, you know and gratitude journals and maybe just write down how you feel and um, give it to the universe so you write down how you feel um, you know or maybe even what what you what you what you want and then burn it and give it to the universe so it can be transformed and come back to you so. Because of that, I think it is important with regards to anything to do with, with trauma that can go and also anything to do with rekindling a relationship you're in or even or maybe even attracting new love. Um, it makes sense first to let things go because your outgoing energy is the elephant. And the elephant is literally the animal that says to you, your problem is that you remember everything, right? And you're holding on to stuff because you think it somehow protects you. Oh, I've seen this before, so that's what that happens, right? And it doesn't quite work that way. It is true that when it comes to sentient beings, no other being ever will be as stupid as humans because we're the only ones that put their hands on a stove to see if it's still hot, right? So, yes, you have been burned before. We all have. And all the guides are saying is it is because you're somehow trying to not get hurt again. You're somehow trying to to not go through stuff again. Right? If there are lessons that you have to learn, they will come to you with the energy of love and with and in intimate relationships. It's just the way we learn the most. So all you need to remember is... Um, to have a high energy yourself and, and remind yourself that you're awesome and that people have to deserve you first without being egotistical about it, um, to manifest a better version of whatever it is you had before, right? And yet, if there is stuff, which is normally the case, that still needs to be triggered, universe has no other option than sending you a better version of what you had because that's what you asked for, and they will still have to trigger for you to release the traumas you harbor. If that makes sense, right? So that's what I'm getting for um, Leo's with regards to your emotions. Biggest imagery that I got was literally for Leo's to say like, okay, um, while I sometimes feel I don't know where I'm going and I don't feel safe, all you need to do is to let that go and meditate and maybe journey. You can journey to your guides and say, well, take me on a journey, help me finding finding ways right 
That's how this works. Finally, let's go into your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of January 2022 for the sign of Leo. You have the Shaman of Foresight and the Shaman of Sorrows. So, big words. With regards to new opportunities, at this point in time, January, so to speak, you already know that January, energetically speaking, for you, even though even with the push on the 4th of January, might not yield a lot of new opportunities. It, because your life somehow, your energy of the Leo energy here, feels a bit stuck, a bit sluggish, and you will feel that way when you enter 2022, if that makes sense, right? So you already know um, that things will be difficult, which is also why sometimes you convince yourself that things will stay shit <laughs> when they might not. But with regards to opportunities, you have the Shaman of Sorrows, which means in your case, um, you have to first understand that whatever opportunities already came to you, um, not all of them might have worked, not all of them even feel awesome. And so, you know, in a way, gr grief for the opportunities that you have missed and grief for the opportunities that you thought were genuine opportunities and then you found out they're just as bad as the others, if that makes sense, right? So, because you are the sign of Leo, right? And it is a representation of a male lion, right? It might be difficult for you at times to do things because in the lion kingdom, your job would be to walk the perimeter. You're not even going hunting unless you absolutely have to, if that makes sense. So there's a part of Leo that is codependent um, on others. And this is just an imprint. But if you are alone, you will feel it strongly because you could do with support, which is why um, one of the things Leos do uh, best with or, or, um, or well with is having um, at least one good friend, if that makes sense, and that's something to manifest. So unfortunately, I don't see uh, massive um, opportunities coming your way. Um, what I'm getting is for you to actually look at whatever didn't work and let that go, right? So, Leos. That's all I got for you. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all next time.